Yo, what's up guys? I'm Mark Cardona. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Today we're going to be taking a look at vocal effects and how you can sound like this. Okay guys, so what I have here is I've pulled up an audio track um, and I've routed it to my inbox, which is input one. And if you don't know how to make an audio track, you just go up to track and new audio track or hit this shortcut right here, which is option command A. So now right away what I wanna do is make sure that my vocal level is good. Um, you know, and the closer I get to the mic, the better it's sounding. So I wanna get some levels that are pretty healthy, you know, around around this area. And now uh, the next thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of reverb just to get some space in there, some air. All right, so I've sent that to bus one, and I've pulled up Breverb on that bus, and now I just send the level to it, and you can hear that we are getting reverb now. So I don't want to put this too much, but just enough to make me feel like I'm in a dream, like, you know, just a little sauce. Now we're going to get into adding the effects to sound like Travis or Kanye on 808s. First, you're going to want to pull up some kind of pitch correction, whether it's on a Trez Auto-Tune, Waves Tune, Maladyne. Um, in this case, Logic, we're going to use real-time pitch correction. Now, when it comes to Auto-Tune, it's very important to have the key of the song, to know the key of the song. And if you don't know the key or song, um, if it's a cover or something, you might be able to look up the chords online and figure it out. For instance, we're just going to start off blank. We're going to put it in a natural minor scale. We're going to leave it in C minor. And we're going to take this response time and move it up. So basically, when I take this all the way to fast, it's more auto-tune and slow is no auto-tune. Wanna go and roll and roll, yeah. Wanna ride in the rhyme. Usually these days they got like the auto tune all the way on, so I'm gonna leave it all the way maxed. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna send to a bus, another bus. We'll use bus two for instance. And this is in the waves package. It's called CLA Effects. Now you can do this with like a guitar amp, like built-in Logic effects and different stuff like that. But I found that this effect in particular always tends to nail it. So I go over here and put this on telephone, um, put a little crunch, and then send to that bus. And you can see right away it's got like that. Always find out, always find something wrong. Mama Sita, Sita, Sita. Whoa, oh, oh. You ease my mind, you make everything feel fine. Feed the pianos. Anyway, you get the point. So that's one way to affect it. That's one way. And that's more like like Runaway Kanye West. Runaway, like that dirty distortion. More down the Travis side, there's this engineer named Mandy Maracoin. He's a great world-renowned engineer. And he makes a lot of Kanye stuff. And this distortion plugin, I like putting this on. And let's crank it up and see what that does to my signal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't you know I was waiting on you? Waiting on a dream that it never come true. Didn't you know I was waiting on you? Alright, guys, so that pretty much covers the basics on how to get started on those kind of vocal effects. Obviously, there's a lot more to it. You gotta know the key of the song. Um, I would definitely tweak the parameters of those plugins more, add your own plugins, you know, give it some creative juice. But again, this is a great starting point. If this video helped at all, please like, subscribe, leave some comments, and I will definitely have some more tutorials for you guys soon. Again, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you guys next time.